In a strong show of international support for Libya's new unity government, foreign ministers from more than 20 countries filed into the Nida Osterai Palace for the talks. Chaired by Italy and the US, delegates considered a request from Libya to arm it in its fight against Daesh. The international community will support the Presidency Council as it seeks exemption from the UN arms embargo to acquire those weapons and bullets needed to fight Daesh and other terrorist groups. But this doesn't mean that the arms embargo is now over. Simply, exemptions will be made to deliver the weapons required. And the delegates who met here in the palace behind me don't believe these arms will end up in the wrong hands. Simply, they'll be given to troops loyal to the unity government. The leader of the unity government was also in Vienna for meetings ahead of the talks. We are not talking about international intervention. We are talking about international assistance in training and equipping our troops. Daesh has taken control of parts of Libya. They're capitalising on the political chaos caused by the disrupted elections in 2014, which left the country with two rival governments. But now the international community is urging all factions to unite behind the new UN-appointed government for the sake of stability. With stabilisation we can fight terrorism, we can assure development to a country with rich potentialities, <laughs> but with a strong humanitarian crisis now, we can tackle the uh, migration issue, we can develop the resources of Libya. And with Libya so geographically close to Europe, the foreign ministers know it's not just the security of Libya that's relying on these talks. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Vienna.